Halo Sobat PSG, sebentar lagi kita akan ada wawancara eksklusif dengan salah satu pemain timnas Indonesia yang baru saja bergabung dengan klub Cerezo Osaka G1 League di Jepang. Sudah pada tahu kan? Yes, Justin Hapner. Hello Justin Hapner, how are you? Yes, I'm really good, thank yeah. you, thank you. Because it's a really big game. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to be really focused. Hello Justin Hapner, how are you? Uh, yes, I'm really good, thank yes. you, thank you. Great to see you here and it's very nice to hear uh, you join in Cerezo Osaka. Maybe you can tell us uh, about the, what's the background story on your transfer and Cerezo Osaka? Yeah, uh, after the Asian Cup, um, I had a lot of clubs who were interested in me. Yeah. Um, clubs in Asia, clubs in Europe. Um, also, it's Rezo Osaka, and I was look at did a little, lot of research about the clubs who wanted me. Um, and at the end, I had a really good feeling with Rezo Osaka because it's it's a really big club in Japan, um, and it looks everything looks really nice. And at the end, I'm really happy that I chose Rezo Osaka. So, yeah, happy to be here now. Okay, and how you see Cerezo Osaka so far? How do I see? Yeah, uh, I see it as a really big club, you know, and uh, I really enjoy it here so far. Um, also, Japan is a really nice country to live in. Mm. Um, but Seville is a really great club, and yeah, I hope that I can make a lot of minutes for them. All right, and how you look yourself in G1 League, and how about your uh, expectation for your career in G1 League? In G yeah. Um, I need to work hard to get my place in the team. Okay. Um, at the end, I, I hope I can make a lot of minutes for the team and develop myself there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we we'll see what happens after, you know. Uh, but the most important thing is that I make as many minutes as I can. Okay. Do you have uh, any favorite G1 League player or you expect to play along with you? No, I'm really looking forward to play with uh, Shinji Kagawa. Shinji Kagawa. Really big player. Mm -hmm. um, plays in the same team, so also yeah. for Cerezo Osaka, so really looking forward to play with him and uh, yeah, great player. Okay, uh, I hear that you will uh, only can start playing for Cerezo Osaka by end of March, how is it? Yeah, yeah, I can, when I'm back from internationals, yeah. I can play for Cerezo Osaka, so really looking forward to play my first game, mm -hmm. um, yeah, now with national team and after a national team, then uh, can play for them, finally. Okay, now you are Indonesian citizen. Maybe you can tell us about your uh, feeling or experience or something like up and down <laughs> as an Indonesian citizen. Yeah, no, it's amazing to, to play for Indonesia. Yeah. The support that I get here is unbelievable, it's crazy. Um, so it's amazing to play for Indonesia to in front of all these fans. So. Okay. And how, how do you see the Japanese league compared with the European league? No, the Japanese league is, is a really good league. Yeah. I think I told the people before it's better than a lot of leagues in Europe. Mm. Um, a lot of people saying why I go to Japan, uh, but they don't know how the league in Japan really is. So I can say the league is really high, better than leagues in Europe. So, okay. yeah. And how your adaptation with the Jiro Zaka, uh, especially in Japan, with uh, food, maybe or language? Do you have something coarse about the language? The language? Yeah, maybe food, uh, maybe? Yeah, the, the food, I really like the Japanese food. Yeah. I eat a lot of sushi. Sushi? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, last time when I was there, I, had, I tried South Korean food. Uh -huh. It's also really nice. Um, so the food is really good. and. The people are really nice there. So. And how about the language and uh, conversation with your team next year? Yeah, um, not so many people speak English, yeah. but we have like a translator, so he translates a lot of things. Uh, some people can, can speak English, of course, but uh, maybe I should learn a little bit Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> okay. so. uh, you see Indonesian national team and what your vision uh, for Indonesian national team? What am I? Sorry, say again, please. Yeah, okay. How you see Indonesian national team and what your vision with Indonesian national team? Uh, I hope um, 
we 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 in the next two games we we beat Vietnam twice. Yeah, twice. That will be the best. Um, go to the next round for World Cup qualifiers, and at the end, I think it's a dream if we can play at the okay. at the World Cup one day. Okay. Now against uh, Vietnam, this is the second match, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the first time this is you uh, with the Indonesian national team playing with team in the GBK Stadium. Yeah. Yeah, and full of fanatic supporter will be uh, here at uh, G Gelora Bung Karno Stadium. Mm -hmm. Maybe you would, would like to say to fanatic supporter and watching you in the stadium or watching you in television. For the Indonesian yeah. sport? Yeah. Yeah, keep supporting us. Uh, we need their support. Um, we're gonna work really hard to uh, to beat Vietnam, of course. Okay. Uh, we're gonna fight for everyone for this country uh, to make everyone proud. So, you know, keep supporting us. Okay. Uh, how will you face the uh, playing Vietnam style with the hard tackles? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have a strategy? Uh, yeah, I know they they like to play really aggressive. Yeah, me as well. I like to play uh, like aggressive, and then um, but we need to be smart as well. So don't get stupid red cards maybe or like challenges. So we need to be careful as well. And uh, we're gonna play our own game, you know, uh, and mm. we'll see what happens in the game. Okay, there are several new players who join Indonesian national team. Uh, such as Nathan mm -hmm. and then JZ, Tom Harry Ragnar, Rod Maimon. How do you end up with them? And maybe which player do you know are close to you? No, I meet them uh, today and yesterday yeah. uh, here. Uh, really nice guys. Uh, I haven't seen any games of them, but uh, I think they can improve the, uh, improve the team, of course. Um, yeah, looking forward to play with all these new players as well. Okay. So. Do you have any special training uh, for against Vietnam? Uh, now today we trained. This morning we trained in set pieces, so corners, free kicks. Mm -hmm. uh, tonight we're gonna do tactical stuff. Okay. So uh, are we gonna have a meeting as well about how they play? Um, so yeah, we see what happens uh, then. I've been talking with you, Justin Hopner. Yes. Good luck for your career and tomorrow we will win in Indonesia. Yes, 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 yes. All right, thank you very yes. much. Thank See you. you. Hello, Martin. Hi. It's great to see you here. And this is, I want to ask you about the Justin Hopner and Jerezo Osaka and uh, Juwan Lee. And <laughs> how do you see Justin playing style with Jerezo? Does it switch with the coach style? Yeah, I think so. We play uh, four at the back, and obviously, we when we signed uh, Justin, we we expect him to play uh, on the left side of the centre back. So yeah. he'll be the, uh, but he's also very versatile. So um, he can also cover at left back and also uh, in centre midfield. Uh, we saw him playing in the Asian Cup in different positions as well. So we we rated his versatility as well so that was one of the reasons why we wanted to sign him this time okay and then how, how what how do you see Cherezo Osaka on this season uh, sorry how do you see Cherezo Osaka on this season uh this season yeah i think it's uh we're we're strong i think yeah. um this is our 30th year uh so it's like an anniversary year so we are aiming for the top we want to try win the league uh We've won cups in the past, but we've never won the league. Yeah, okay. So, um, and we played four games so far. We've drawn two and won two, and we're in third position right now. Okay. So we're in a good position. We're we're growing every day with, uh, and we're we're gaining confidence. So that's a great thing. Okay. And what are your hopes for Justin Hopner and this season with Chirozaka for achievement? I think. Well, uh, we can't forget that he's only 20 years old, yeah. so um, he's still got a lot of developing to do. Uh -huh. And but we've we've al always prided ourselves of being a developing club, mm -hmm. so we've developed players like uh, uh, Shinji Kagawa in the past and mm -hmm. Minamino, who Minamino. now plays at Monaco. Yeah, uh, we've developed uh, a lot of players in the past, so we we hope we can do the same for Justin. We hope that uh, he can. Uh, adjust to his new life in Japan mm -hmm. and uh, hopefully his confidence will shine through on the pitch 
And if he does that, we, he should be able to get a lot of playing time. So uh, our first hope is we, we hope he adapts really well. Yeah. It might take a few weeks or a, two, a few months for him to get into the swing of things. Mm. And we can't forget that he has to compete with the other players in his position. But we think he's got great potential. Okay. And how, uh, who are our other team, our strongest team in the Japanese league that will compete at the top? I think this season, obviously, uh, Vissel Kobe, they won the league uh, last year. Yeah. Also, Samfred Hiroshima, uh, doing very strong this year. Um, and obviously, teams like Kashima Antlers, Kashima Antlers. and uh, Gamba Osaka are, are rivals. Oh. And we can't forget uh, teams like um, Kawasaki Frontale as well. Yeah. They've had a, a bit of a mixed uh, results in the first few games, but we expect them teams to be near the top of the table. And also Urawa Reds, I think, okay. is another uh, one. And how about you, the Japan, let's compare with the European League, especially when Justin joined with in Zero Well, Dota. I think in the last five or six years, yeah. uh, the J League has uh, really made some grounds in, in the, the with, with, I think, with a lot of the teams yeah. uh, that have made a lot of ground recently. Especially, you see in Europe, they're, they're playing the pressing game and you have to be really physically tough. Um, in Japan, uh, a lot of Japanese players have always been yeah. technically good, but they've lacked the physique or, or that's required at the top level. And I think in the last two, three years, you see a lot of teams in the J-League who, who press very uh, mm. high and they work very hard. So um, I think, in a way, the J-League is, uh, we're, we're trying to be, we're trying to close the gap between the big leagues in Europe, like the Premier League, mm -hmm. and I think um, especially in the last two, three years, uh, a lot of teams have adapted their tactics okay. and they're, they're being more kind of uh, physically minded. So I, I think, um, yeah, uh, a lot of teams, including Cerezo Osaka, have made uh, vast improvements in just in the last two, three years alone. Okay, this is the last question. After Justin finished loan from Wolves, mm -hmm. what do you expect? Stay with Cerezo Osaka or come back with Wolves? Um, we, we don't know. I think nobody yeah. knows. Um, obviously, we hope that he adapts to his uh, to Cereza Osaka. He yeah. plays a lot of games. And at the end of the season, we can have that conversation with Wolves. But obviously, he's a Wolverhampton player. Yeah. And obviously, Justin will have ambitions to go on and play again in the Premier League. Yeah. So um, obviously, the J-League, we can't compete with the Premier League. But uh, what we can do is assist him in his development mm. um, to make sure that he, he has all the best chance of making it uh, at the top, top level. All right. It's nice been talking with you. Thank you so much. Yeah, Marty. thank you again. Yes, yeah. thank you so much. Thank you. Good Cheers. luck for you. Thank okay. you. Watch me, Cerezo, Osaka player, play in the J League uh, at PSG TV, uh, the home of the J League. So, watch me.